So it is just after 6.30 and I'm getting ready to do the bike. Good morning and happy Tuesday. So it is just after 7.14 or almost 7.15 and I did a 40 minute workout today. I did a 10 minute warm up and then a uh, 30 minute ride. So this is what the rings are looking like. I upped them uh, a little bit because after yesterday I noticed that I was getting more credit for what I was doing so I was like why not up them a little bit and as far as this tracking miles thing for the weekend this weekend uh for the challenge and the experiment I'm only doing the miles that I do here so right now we're at 2.29 miles and 5,100 steps see on the wheelchair mode this wouldn't tell me anything so I'm almost thinking of keeping it this way. So far, I am, but we'll see how the two weeks goes. Hello everybody, it's like 9.07 right now, um, and I've already gotten up, did the bike, had coffee, watched a little bit of Gilmore Girls, um, and now I think I'm going to read my book um, and brush my hair because I need to get it manageable so my mom could pull it up in braids for me. I really do like that it's long to braid it but I think I'm going to at least chop a little bit off before birth surgery um which I don't even have a date for that yet but I go back in um January to discuss it and that'll be here before we know it um but I, I usually do that anyways chop a little bit off my hair before I go just because I don't know if that's literally what I've been doing the past couple of times Although I do like the braids, though. But anyways. But this time I'm not getting it thinned because that was, that's annoying. And I actually talked to a friend of mine who's a hairstylist. And she goes, yeah, that's because you had them thin it out. And I was like, oh, well, now I know what not to ask for. Um, because I'm not really a hair person. Like I said, if my nails are done and together, then I feel together. Whoa, that scared me. Then I feel together. That scared the crap out of me, YouTube ads. I had it, um, like, it w I had it on, like, a waiting screen because there's a live stream going to start soon. And it's, like, started playing. I was like, what the heck is happening here? But anyways, good morning and happy Tuesday. Today is another favorite day of the week of mine. And today is dance class with Chelsea Hill Day. Well, the rollettes, but Chelsea Hill's teaching this week, and um, she just announced that she's having a baby girl. They did their gender reveal this past weekend, and it's so exciting. So it's actually dance with Chelsea and her daughter day, but that's so exciting. I don't know. I may be a little biased because I have like two of the best 
girl nieces in the entire world, but girls are really fun. They're really, really fun. So, yeah. Hey everybody, Emily here. It is currently 1227 right now. And it's been quite a busy morning. Um, just did all of the stuff that I was doing. And then um, my mom called New Motion again, which is the um, wheelchair company that I use. Um, so we're giving them until tomorrow to call us back um and i even downloaded their app because i was going to try to do the live chat um but we got somebody's voicemail but hopefully we hear something back and then um we actually just got dominoes to the house because when my friend rachel was hanging out with me we actually or ordered um, enough to qualify me for a free pizza um, the next time I went, but we haven't used it since. So we used it today. And actually now my mom is on her way to... Stop. No, quiet. My mom is on her way to drop the other two dogs off, Maddie and Sully, at the groomer. And... Hope, let me check if mom mom left, okay? Because I don't want to let you outside if she's still trying to get in the car, okay? Because I don't need you to be under her wheel by an accident. I guess she didn't want to go yet, but I'm going to eat my pizza and just chill. Um, the grandmother who inspired the movie Coco, or at least one of the characters in the movie, um passed away and like that makes me so sad so i want to watch that movie but other than that i need to keep like my phone open well they say phone line but who even says phone line anymore but i need to keep my phone line open just in case um they do call back which i'm hoping they do so let me get off here and let me just put something on the tv or the ipad tv whatever Actually, I'm going to ask my mom later if she wants to watch a movie. Um, because she'll be back soon. Like, she's just dropping them off. And then they'll be, uh, they'll be gone for a little while so we can relax and chill. And then, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I have a book that I'm reading, which I'm going to show you guys. So, can you see me? Yes, okay. Is that my mom right now? Nope, just a car driving by. Okay. Um, the book that I'm currently... Well, actually, I, I, I have like four books that I have downloaded right now. But the one I'm currently reading... Can you see that? I know the quality is terrible. But it's called The Gunkle by Stephen Rawley. And funny enough, I downloaded, or I placed a request for this book. Can you even see me? Hold on. I'm still getting to know this iPad because I don't film on here too often. But, uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to now. But this book is so good. I, like, have laughed and cried and laughed all the way through. And, um... It's based in Connecticut. There's a lot of references to Connecticut. So I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Like, nothing like that happens, you know. But, oh, my God, it's so good. You should read it. But I had a hold on this since Pride Month in June, and I just got it, like, a couple days ago. And I'm already 72% done. It's so good. But I won't spoil it, but... Has a, I'll just say it has a lot to do with uh, families and nieces and nephews and 
uncles and, you know, families and all that, obviously, but it's so, so, so good. <clears throat> little mini two second recap because it took me 85 years to get this link from my email to my <laughs> iPad and I don't know why because I literally just updated the iPad not long ago um but it is 4:58, and I'm getting ready to take Chelsea's class uh and I'm super excited because I don't know knowing that she just she just has a little girl and like I said earlier today I think like I'm biased obviously but girls are really fun you know um so yeah I'm just super excited and also also just while I'm waiting for it to start um I got a um I my mom got a call my mom got a call back from New Motion, which is crazy because we told them to call me and we left my number three times on the voicemail, but whatever. In, in I mean, in the same voicemail message, but oh well. And the lady we talked to was very nice. Uh, she said that, oh, we didn't, we never got a referral for the um, PT or whatever, or the, um, you know, the... Uh, the, what do you call it, the rehab, and, uh, I was like, we were, or I wasn't even there when she called, because she called when she was at my grandma's, um, but anyway, apparently it's all good now, she's gonna put it through right now, or today at some point, and then they said, the lady said that, um, the people who fitted me for the chair, which I believe was um, an assistive technology professional from New Motion and then a physical therapist from a home health company, I believe. I don't know. Again, this was all during like the height of, you know, everybody's staying home. Everybody's not going anywhere. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, my Zoom screen just changed, so I got to go. But yeah. Yay, I'm happy that the, um, the, um, the chair is being fixed. Hopefully. Knock on whatever okay. fake wood. Alright, ready? Ready. And one, two, three. Got it? Yes, we got it. We got it! Yay! Amazing. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all in a few weeks. Bye! Bye!